Hello survivors, welcome back to another different tier 2 video. My name is Jimmy Shreds and we are back with another different tier 2 video. Been a long time, been almost two months since I made a last video, I apologize for that. But to today we're back with a guide that will show you how to get to the endgame red buildings and how to fight these enemies and everything in depth. So we're going to cover Nyx Mansion and Sephronome uh, Labs. So it means fight against Matriarch in uh, Nyx Mansion and fight against Patient Zero in Sacronum Labs. I'm not gonna keep it any longer. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go leave uh, down below my socials in the description, and I'm also gonna leave my YouTube membership if you wanna support me on YouTube. Thank you all of those to all of those who are supporting me on the YouTube through the membership, and for all likes, comments, and shares as always. Uh, now let's roll with the guide. Right, so what do we do? How do we get to these places? To get, first we want to get to the Comer and Sun, which is located currently here. Inside of Comer and Sun, today on the seventh floor, is a key that you need to get to go behind some locked door, which is, I don't know, today brass or iron, I don't know. And it, it, so it's some kind of a key, right? And you find that key, and then you go inside the locked door inside of a Comer and Sun, and you find Nick's Mansion key. Once you find the Nyx Mansion key, you're gonna head to the Nyx Mansion. Once you head to the Nyx Mansion, you're gonna find you're gonna have to find keys for the locked doors to be able to get items that you need. There are five items that you need to get, and I'll show you exactly how these items look like, uh, so you have better idea of how things are. So you find five uh, five uh, locked uh, five keys for the locked doors, and behind these locked doors, you'll find five items that you need to turn to Mara Nyx inside the Nyx Mansion. Once you turn those items to Maranix inside the mansion, you will unlock the boss room inside Nick's mansion, which is fight against Matriarch Spider Boss. I'm gonna show you how the fight looks like and everything, but first I'm gonna show you uh, how to get the items and how they all look like, right? And then after that, we're gonna go, after we kill the boss, we're gonna collect the Adler's Eye from the boss. Sorry, we're gonna collect um, from the uh, Mara inside the boss room. We're gonna collect Adler's Eye, which is gonna give us access to Sacrum Labs. Once we get se uh, access to Sacrum Labs, we need to find five uh, key cards to unlock the terminals. <laughs> Once you unlock five terminals, you'll unlock Patient Zero boss room. Have in mind, once you go inside of these boss rooms, inside of uh, Nick's Mansion or uh, Sacrum Labs, you cannot go out. These. Things are supposed to be made in group. Do not solo this. It's doable solo, but it's quite hard. You need to have decent gear, really good gear, shall I say, actually. And you need to be high level. Do not attempt this to do solo, especially if you're new to the game. Uh, so, once you unlock the Sacrum Labs, you will fight Patient Zero. Once you kill Patient Zero, you'll find the... Rumbled notepad, if I remember right, that's uh, the thing of it. And then it says something, blah, 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 blah. You, once you kill a patient zero and get that notepad, you go back to Nick's mansion and you give it to the Mara inside the boss room where you killed the spider. Once you kill the spider, and once you give it to her, she'll give you a Sacrum token, which you can exchange for. Unique Enhancer, level 60. With this thing, you can Unique Enhance any kind of uh, unique gear to level 60. Have in mind, some items have fixed stats, which I'll leave uh, also in the description, the link to the, the community post that's ma been made on Steam, so you guys know which items to unique enhance and which not. I hope people will update uh, the community post. I don't know, is it completely up to date? But as far as I know, with everybody, what people been saying, there is plenty of information there, so I'll keep it. Uh, I'll uh, post it in the description, as I said. So now let me show you how to get these items and everything. So as I said, we go inside of a Comer and Sun. Inside of Comer and Sun, we're gonna go to seventh floor. That is today. You can change. We find the key, which is brass key today. Then we go to the locked door, which will give us Nick's Mansion key. Now we are heading to Nick's Mansion. Inside Nick's mansion, first we're gonna focus on finding the keys for the locked doors. Behind those locked doors, we're gonna find the items which we need to give to the Mara Nyx, which once we give the items, is gonna unlock the boss room for us. 
I've only recorded uh, four keys out of fives. Unfortunately, I, I didn't uh, manage to record the fifth key, but once you fight the keys, you find these doors. Behind these doors, you'll be finding the items, which I'm gonna show you right now what you're gonna need. The, to find first item is sheet music. Second one, old teddy bear. Third, teddy comic book. Fourth, polaroid photo. And last one, fifth, letter baseball. Then we're gonna go with these items to the next mansion lobby. We're gonna click on the piano. We are interact with piano. Then we're gonna go to some door and come back and find Mara inside the Nix Mansion hall, the first one. Then we go to the left double door. I'm gonna find Mara there. And we keep going through the doors, finding Mara until we give her all the items. Have in mind all these uh, keys locations, uh, item locations, and Mara locations are different every day. People do guide on that and they post it in different here to official Discord. So if you're not there, uh, I highly advise you to join. I'm gonna leave it down in the description, link to their Discord so you can join and get the guide so you have things easier when people do it. Once we have done talking to Mera, this is the last one, we have unlocked the boss room, Matriarch Spider Boss. We are about to fight the world boss called Matriarch which is a big spider, very fast spider. She has mini bosses with her, which are small spiders. First, what you wanna do is take out the small spiders. They're, they have tentacles, they can be optics as well, they can be on fire, they can have flies around them and such things. So when you're fighting them, you wanna stick uh, to the corners and stick to the pillars. You wanna be in the group with at least three people, so in total you want to have four people with including you, right? When you're fighting, the stats that are very important is you want to have sprint speed. Forget about the jog, you really need sprint speed. This thing is fast, like super fast. The fastest enemy in the game that we have, this big spider. Uh, you want to have at least 150 sprint speed. It can be either 100 sprint speed combined with 50 movement speed. The higher, the better. Have that in mind. Now, once you kill the boss, once you follow everything how we're doing here, as you can see, uh, once you kill the boss, you're gonna get the level 60 ring enhancer, and you wanna talk to the uh, Maranix on the floor, you'll see her. And once you talk to her inside this boss room, you can see her, then she's gonna give you Adler's Eye. Once she gives you Adler's Eye, you can go to uh, Sacrum Labs and you will unlock Sacrum Labs, you'll have access to Sacrum Labs. Now, I have turned off the the complete uh, volume of the boss fight and everything so no sound because she's very very loud once we kill the spider we're gonna head to the sacrum labs with adler's eye then once we unlock the sacrum labs with adler's eye we're gonna go inside and search for the key cards which will give us access to these um, terminals you need five terminals to be able to unlock the boss room uh, for the patient zero once you lock the boss room and once you get inside you cannot get out same with the spider so have that in mind i didn't uh, record the whole thing me collecting the uh, card cards and unlocking terminals because video is already very long and i didn't want it to be super super long now let's head to the sacrum labs and show you the boss fight and we have finally come to the world boss patient zero fight now, the most important things you need to know, when it comes to mobility stats, 130 sprint speed will be more than enough, for me at least, that I found it like a sweet spot, I don't have any difficulties with fighting the enemies and everything, but advice, the higher the better, so if you can go above 130, that is gonna be awesome, so the things you must know as well. When you're fighting patient zero, you don't want to do it solo. If you're going to do it solo, it's possible to do it solo, but the amount of cash you're going to spend is just insane. You're just going to spend so much cash and it's not worth it in the long run. So the more people you have, the better. I would uh, advise to have at least five because last uh, you always spend the least cash. Next thing, first, when you're fighting patient zero, you want to take out the small bosses. But there are two ways to fight patient zero. You must also know that. First tactic is one person go in and he pulls all the aggro and all the bosses towards him. But then the rest comes in and he comes towards them. And so the aggro will be focused around the group. 
and you must be synchronized when you fight patient zero or the second way is you all go together and you just get past patient zero and you all pull aggro together which is I do not advise to do that. I think it's much better when somebody goes first and pulls all the aggro and then when he gives the signal the rest enters and you get all together and you play as one. You must be synchronized because if somebody goes left and somebody goes too far right the aggro will change and people will die and also you want to kill small bosses first because they push patient, patient zero so he can be very fast because of the bosses like they can push him a lot so kill the mini bosses or just how you want to call it bosses we call it mini bosses or minis kill them first then you focus on the patient zero so stick to the corners and you know don't run too fast you must be synchronized if somebody is going to run too far ahead Patient zero will change the aggro, somebody will die. So do not go too far ahead. Don't run too fast. Wait for everybody. You are all you all need to play as one. So that's pretty much it. There is not much to say. And yeah, you're gonna be one shot. Unless I I didn't test it, I can say hundred percent for this. How much there is uh, apparently people who have tried and you can survive the shot uh, uh, from tentacle from the patient zero. I can't say 100%, I didn't test yet, but apparently you can survive it, I'll have to test it. Once I test it, I can say, I can tell you guys what you need and once I have information. But for now, just stay away from it, do not get hit. And also you can dodge, uh, you can dodge the attack from patient zero, I forgot to mention that, that's very important. Also from the spiders as well, forgot to mention that. Now, uh, the last thing that I have to mention is once you kill the patient zero, you are gonna get the note. With that note, you're gonna head to the next mansion where you fought, where you've been fighting the the spider. Same spot where uh, you for last time saw Mara on the floor. You're gonna go to her, give her the note, and she's gonna give you a second token, which you exchange for the uh, an unique enhancer. You must have three. Those are soul bound, cannot be traded between the characters. So have that in mind. So each uh, Sacramento token is for character, one character only. You can do uh, this uh, every day with as many characters as you want. And, you know, I would save unique enhancers if I, if I was you and wait for some uh, items to see what we're going to get in hell, uh, during the Halloween. That's my advice for you. And that's pretty much what I have to say. The rest is I'm just going to leave the boss fight as it is. And, yeah, just enjoy the boss fight. And I'm going to also let you know Please uh, be prepared, he's very loud, so turn down the volume. Enjoy the rest of the boss fight. If I forgot to mention anything, I'll leave it down in the comments. I'm going to pin the comment as always. Thank you for all the likes, comments, shares and all the support. Thank you guys, I really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. And uh, in my opinion, the whole uh, idea how it's done it's very tedious that we have to go through this every day. We have to, you know, collect the keys, kill the spider to get to patient zero. In my opinion, it's very time consuming. But yeah, that's it for me currently. And I'm going to leave socials down below. And, you know, I'll also I'll have the uh, all things pinned, as I said, the anything that I missed. Love you all, guys. Till next time, survivors. Peace.